Greetings, this is Mike from Open Ground. Going to do a tutorial. Going to try to make it as quick as possible on leveraging the mail merge feature of LibreOffice or OpenOffice in order to write code for us. So why would we do something like this? Well, let's say we're working on a static website or we have a content management system that we don't have complete access to or we're working with SharePoint and we just want to add... Um, you know, say 100 profiles uh, with specific HTML blocks. And uh, in order to do that efficiently with a minimum of tools, uh, I think using LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Word is a great way to do it. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. So this is CodePen, and this is a, uh, a block of HTML here. And this is the code it produces. So you can imagine um, this being a profile box for a U.S. president. You know, it doesn't have a photo or anything, but it could. And uh, if we were making a static website and we needed 45 of these, um, we would uh, want to make sure we get it right. And if we made a mistake across all of them or had to uh, do a revision or we had uh, some we had to add or take away, uh, the nice thing is if you use the uh, LibreOffice and Mail Merge feature I'm going to go through, um, you save a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and you only have to write code once um, and deploy it in a way. So let's get to it. Um, starting off here in LibreOffice, a couple of housekeeping items. Um, what I like to do, since we're going to be writing code in here, is I like to change my font to Courier. And uh, it's because we're going to be writing some stuff. Looks better. Next thing, we go under Tools, and we go under Auto Correct Options. And in here, you want to uncheck the boxes associated with single and double quotes. So make sure those are unchecked. And then next, you want to, um, well, you don't have to, actually. But what I, th I like, a thing I like to do is, under Format, I go to Page. And in here, I change the height of the page. I do like half that height, so five. And click apply. All right. So, writing a block of code. Um, here we have a div. So, we're going to match that profile box that you saw. Paragraph. You know, we might have another paragraph with uh, a link in it and what I'll do is I'll skip this and actually pull up one that's already made so what we have here is a file with this pre-populated HTML and um, let me show you the spreadsheet we have so this is um, a spreadsheet with presidents names their corresponding Wikipedia page and then a quote from each one so you can imagine this being any kind of data, you know, numerous fields. Uh, and that's, you know, the more difficult it gets, obviously, the more you might want to use this method. So um, we've got uh, to put in variables now associated with those fields in order to build all the HTML. And, uh, and as a result, creating the profiles like this, individual profiles. So... Um, going to go under edit and then exchange database and from here we're going to browse to the data source so hit browse and we're going to go to the calc file which is US president quotes ODS or whatever file you have click open and then in here um, we want to be able to define it but we have to actually choose the sheet we hit define Okay, so we're good there. So we've linked up the source. Um, next thing we need to do is assign the data columns to our spots in here as variables. So um, under the view menu, we go to data sources. You can also hit F4 in this case. So here we have a nice little um, panel here where we can see the data that we have. And we want to concentrate on these columns here. So the president name, we actually can click on these columns and drag it into the uh, 
into the code box here. So the name is going to go here in, in the uh, H4 tag. So we'll click and drag downward. And there we go. There's the name. The variable, as you can see, is created. It's this gray item inside the um, triangle brackets. Not to be confused with normal HTML, this is sort of a variable, um, the way I've represented it. And then we want to do the web page, so we'll grab the column, click, hold, and drag, and we'll put that in between these these uh, href quotes. So there's the web page variable. And then the last thing, we'll grab the quote, and then we're going to put the quote in. It just so happens it's going to go in these curly quotes there. All right. So now we've assigned the variables, so we're good there. It's a good time to save. So we'll save the file. And then next, um, we actually want to go through the mail merge wizard. And to do that, we go to, um, actually, let me close this guy there. OK. Go to Tools, and we'll go to Mail Merge Wizard. And because we kind of uh, hooked up the data source ahead of time, the mail merge wizard is just sort of uh, a quick walkthrough. So use the current document, good, hit next, um, letter, yeah, hit next. This is sort of the normal way you use mail merge, but we're obviously hacking together this new thing. And then um, you can also skip this. Actually, this is kind of a tedious process when you go through it normally. Hit next, skipping this one as well. All right, so this is cool. We get to the edit document, and we can actually see um, and and page through these um, profiles. So now you can actually see our variable being replaced with the actual text. And if we can click through it to the next item, so that's nice. You get a good preview, making sure it's accurate. You'd spot any problems here if you were going to spot any. All right, once we do that, we hit next, and what's going to happen is it's going to generate a new file for us and this new file make sure to position that this is the new file that was created and um, it's behind this box and actually um, this box is sort of in the way but to get it out of the way you just hit edit individual document and what that means is um, if you were doing a normal mail merge you have access to make any changes to the final thing so this uh, document that's created um, is separate from the one we started with, okay? But uh, what we have here is the actual output, and you can scroll through, and you can see that we have um, quite a few of these. So we've got the code generated that we want. Now we can copy and paste the code wherever we need, whether it be contact management system or a static HTML page or an email. So we can, uh, let's test it. We'll select all the code here, hit control C or command C. And uh, let's go back into the uh, code pen example. So here's that starter profile we had. And uh, this is the HTML area for that. So I'm actually going to get rid of that. And I'm going to paste in our HTML. And we should have a bunch of profiles populate. And there they are. All right. So, um, you know, in order to capture this code, we could paste it into SharePoint or WordPress or wherever, or save it to a text file, that sort of thing. But uh, here's, I just wanted to show you what it looked like. And uh, if you were using Dreamweaver, uh, Dreamweaver also allows you to paste it, although it's a bit buggy when you paste a lot of code. So let's try it a couple times if we need to. Yeah, it's just... There we go. So I had to paste it a couple of times, but here it is in Dreamweaver. So if you had a text editor, you could paste it in there and then just save it out as an HTML file uh, or add any necessary header information you need to. All right. Well, I hope this is helpful. I hope you get an idea on where you might be able to use something like this. Uh, I just have one more thing to say, which is um, if you uh, can get what you need done using Libre or OpenOffice, that's great. Um, but also Microsoft Word has a mail merge feature. Uh, it's a little bit more robust, so you can do things like add conditionals, things um, like in the case of writing out code, if certain fields weren't available, um, 
you know, alternative things could be added. And uh, you'll find that LibreOffice isn't as, uh, as feature-filled for that sort of thing with Mail Merge as, uh, as Microsoft Word is. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, for more tutorials on the way, go to openground.com. Thanks a lot.